Hello guys, today I would like to show you a true amazing device in my opinion and that is a real pocket computer made by Sharp. The model is a PC1262 and as you can see from the form factor it's a very small. When I first see that device I was pretty sure that this is just a regular electronic memo with a calendar and the calculator but on the closer investigation you can see that it's more like a computer keyboard and we've got a um, possibility to run applications and program so that is uh, by definition a pocket computer which you can program by, by using a basic language I'm not sure if that's just a, a full basic or just a couple of commands but yes it have a ability to run a basic program so first of all when we go to the run we can use it as a normal calculator so we can go like five times five and we've got a 25 but we can also use it like a programmable calculator and we can start using a basic so for example we can create a variable for example a we can assign for example a 10 to that number we start that into the memory we can now create a b we can assign to that for example 4 and we can now do a calculation the a minus where is the minus minus b and we can execute that and we've got a 6 so as you can see that variable were assigned are keep in the memory and we done our calculation so i do not have any manual and i learn a couple of basic function by pressing the shift key and over here we've got a uh, help and as you can see the all i think that's the all command that there are inside the basic interpreter that you can use and you can select one of these you can go and you've got a example use so even if you don't know don't do not have manual you can use the help to to learn i'm pretty sure that you won't be able to learn everything but a basic basic thing you can no problem like the big command you've got how to use that so beep five times or beep a variable so let's go back to our programming mode when we would like to check what kind of programs do we have stored inside we go to the command called uh, list and now we've got a program that I wrote before we can we can run it by using the run command and execute and as you can see it printing out the two things so we can run that and go to line 20 and as you can see it was executed correctly because we executed from the line 20 and the line 20 was a print ABC so let's pretend that we would like to wrote something more complicated I mean that will be a very 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 easy but just to, to show that is it working so we can type new and right now when we go list as you can see we've clear our memory so how you program this first of all you are inputting the line of the code and by the idea you type line like that 10 then you go to line 20 and the reason is this is not like a 
computer file, but only you have access to the line number. So when you create your first command at line 10, then your next command at line 20. If you would like to add something, you can then create a line 11, 12, 13. So you've got another nine lines to put between the two comments that you put when you were creating your application. So let's clear that. And now let's use the line number 10. You go into the space and let's let's see what we can do. For example, let's wrote a program that is showing calculating our for example our age. So first what we would like to do we would like to input our age. So I'm going to use the input. No now I'm going to add a text in the in the bracket the quote mark and we would like to get the actual year. Oh, I'm making mistakes. Actual year. Close the quote. I'm going now add a comma like that. And we would like to input the actual year into a variable called, for example, year. OK. That's the program. OK. I hope, as you can see, when we hit enter, we've got a, a semicolon. OK, no problem. Now we go to the line 20 space and we would like to input a date of your birth beard so we go to the input we are opening our quotes uh, for example date 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 birth okay the comma and it will be our birth date so let's call that a b and now now we can show the results we go to the line 13 and now we can make a calculation by using command print we can output to the user your age is your age is and we would like to have a, let me find a proper that one we close our bracket we add a comma and let's remind me what was the so first we would have a our actual year, which was the year, and we would like to add the minus the birth, and that should give us uh, our age. Okay, so store that, and let's try to run that application, and let's see, do we make it correctly? So I'm going to run. The run will be start from the lowest code line but we can go to the other code line if we are debugging or if we have a couple programs so actual year 2018 and date of birth let's go 1985 and your age is 33 and as you can see <clears throat> we can it's working perfect we can list our code but if you are a programmer you're going to see very quickly that it's not perfect 
because we are using over here a, a combination and we can make this a little bit tighter we can go to the line now we are going to insert a new line so the new line will be a for example 21 so we can create a new 21 line and we can make that calculation and do put it into new variable so 21 will be our actual year minus birth just like that okay and as you can see we inserted a new line and this is that what i was telling you about that we inserted new line and we have um, room to add a new new expression so let's edit our line our line which will be let's go for line 30 and now we can edit that we can go over here and we can put I re don't remember sorry guys I forget I forget we have to insert a new line over here and over here another new line and there should be a we have to assign, of course, a new variable, which will be h equals to, yes, that's looking good. And now, now we can go on the bottom and we can edit that. As you can see, it's quite, quite interesting. You can use just your age. This is your age. And we delete all of this because we don't need that. So let's see. Your age is a uh, age. Let's see. Age is year minus birth. And let's go to the run. And we are going to run the code. Actual year 2018. Let's date. 1989 for example let's use something different and your age is at 29 years old and let's pretend that we would like to so as you can see when we list that it's a little bit smarter than than we have it before because we've got a new variable and let's pretend that we would like to have another thing. We would like to, just like lighting your candles, we would like to beep uh, that times that you have your, your age. So we go to the 22, we are going to insert a new line. So 22, we are going to use the comment beep. And the beep comment was using your your age okay sorry 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 that was oops my bad i'm going to delete that okay so let's start so let's see our code so we've got our age and we are going to beep uh, many years that you've got and just like lighting a candles and then we are going to show how age are you we are going to run and we are going to execute run Okay, actual year, let's go 2018, we can go and change, but let's uh, 29 and let's see what will happen. Your age is 29, so I didn't count it, but I, I'm i pretty sure that that's what it should do. So as you can see, our program ends and we cannot do anything, but we can use the go to. So let's again list our application and let's pretend that we would like to make our program again. 
So if we would like to run our program again, so we would like to go to the insert a new line, which will be 14, because we would like to have a room for another nine, nine new lines in case we, we change something. And now we are going to use the go to, go to line number 10. Okay, so let's try to execute that. So after, nope, that was the actual year. I do not have any safety feature. So if we start to, I'm going to, <clears throat> I don't want to learn way too much. So let's go year 2000. So there will be less beeping. And now it's beeping. Your age is 18. And if we are going to hit the enter, the go to will bring us to the beginning. So as you can see, it's a pretty amazing device. Of course, we can create like a menu. We can create like a menu or we can create like a text based game we can make a game on this of course by a text file because we can use the from the help we can use the if statement there is a if you've got all your loops you've got over here an if statement so we can just like create a menu or a condition if something is greater if you choose option one to three, we can go to line another from the code and we can by that we can create different action. So yes, that's that's a really really amazing device in my opinion. And I would like to recommend that having one if you are collecting that kind of equipment. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time and bye bye.